Yeah, and several of them told me this is their moment to stand up, not just for Jacob Blake, but for their own families and neighbors. And some of them brought their children along for the march. His life matters. Your life matters. Outside City Hall at Dilworth Park, the signs and chanting were back, this time for Jacob Blake. As a black man, it is my responsibility to make sure that I'm here. Christian Whitaker joined about 100 others to demand justice. He has no end in sight of this. And police reform. People are filled with horror that this could happen and that it keeps happening. Sam Goldman told me this was an emergency protest. At the same time, Major League Sports teams were staging their own. The Milwaukee Bucks took a stand by refusing to play tonight's game. We are expected to play at a high level, give maximum effort, and hold each other accountable. We hold ourselves to that standard, and in this moment, we are demanding the same from lawmakers and law enforcement. The NBA later postponed all three games that were supposed to be played tonight. The WNBA postponed its games, too. Baseball and soccer teams also walked off in protest. You look on Twitter and people more upset about there not being a basketball game than they are about black people being shot with impunity by the police. And what does that say about this society and what needs to be changed? The group marched their message through Center City streets, some for the first time. First one. First one. Police watching and biking alongside. Olivia Jones brought her two kids along. And we shouldn't be out here again and again and again, but we will be because it is our right, it is our duty as citizens to exercise our voices and participate civically in our society. And this happened in the heat of the afternoon rush, so there were some traffic issues and problems and closures throughout the center city area around City Hall, but no major issues in terms of arrests or anything like that. The organizers tell me that this protest tonight will not be their last. Live in Center City, I'm Matt Delusha, NBC 10 News.